Hi, my name is Courtney Johnson and I'm the Program Director at Peninsula Gymnastics in San Mateo. Today I have Malia with us today and she is going to do the Intermediate Conditioning Lesson 3. Let's start with a quick warm up. Malia is going to first start with jogging. Go ahead and jog Malia. And while you jog, let's always think about having your elbows bent and your chest nice and high. And now Malia is going to do knees up. So as you're doing knees up, think about getting your knees above your belly button. So you want to get them nice and high. Very nice. And heels up, kick your bottom. Keep those elbows bent. Think about really running, kicking your legs up. And now let's skip. As Malia skips, she's going to push through her toes, trying to keep her bottom knee as straight as possible. Very nice. Now let's go back to a jog. And we're just going to jog for five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. And freeze. And now we're going to make some big breaths to catch our breath from jogging. We're going to breathe in, bring those elbows up, and breathe out. Good. Two more. Breathe in, and breathe out. And last time, breathe in, and breathe out. Good. And now we're going to warm up our arms and do a side stretch at the same time. So Malia is going to put one hand on her hip, and the other arm is going to come out. We're going to show one and then do one together. Ready? She's going to circle one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Let's do it all together two times on each side. Ready? One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. Again, one, two, three, switch. Very nice. One, two, three, and down. Very good. Now let's work on the arches that we've done in the previous lessons. We're going to have Malia turn to the side so that you can have a better view of what she's doing. Keeping these knees straight and her feet are just shoulder length apart. Malia's going to put her hands on her hips and she's going to look up to the sky first. From here, Malia is going to slowly arch backwards and you should only go as far as you feel comfortable. Malia is really flexible, but just push back using keeping your belly button pushing it towards the wall. And all the way up and chin down. We're going to do two more just like that. Really slowly looking up to the sky and slowly leaning back, keeping those knees straight, pushing your belly button forward and slowly up and chin forward. Now, last one. This time you should try to go back just a tad bit more than the time before. Look up to the sky and slowly back. Keeping those knees straight, belly button forward. Good. And forward. Keep those knees straight on the front and lean and chin forward. Very nice. From here, we're going to squat down. And we're going to get back into that front support that we've used in all of the lessons up to now. Malia's going to walk her feet back. And we're going to get really tight in here. Shoulders over your hands, squeezing your bottom, making sure that your head is always in a neutral position, looking directly in front. Do not bury your chin down in your chest and do not look forward. We're going to keep those knees straight and we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Really focusing on tight legs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's walk your feet back into a squat and rest here for a second. It's really important when you're in the front support that your back always stays nice and tight. Try not to arch and let your belly fall forward to the ground. Let's try again, Malia. Two more. Walk your feet out and squeezing tight in here, squeezing your bottom super tight, making sure these knees are straight. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, almost there, nine, ten. Beautiful, walk back in and hold. While she waits, think about keeping those shoulders over those hands and being nice and tight. 
Once we move on from this one, we're gonna go straight into our push-ups. So last one, walk your feet back, and squeezing your bottom tight and hold. One, two, three, four, five, heels together, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now staying in this position, we're gonna add five push-ups. So Malia is gonna keep her belly nice and tight, keeping all this nice and hollow, and we're gonna do five push-ups. Bend. And one, beautiful. Two, very nice. Three, four, and five. Now walk your feet back in and come into a squat. You may remember in the last video, we just did three push-ups. We're adding two extra as your strength increase. We are going to do three sets of these here today. Let's walk our feet back out. Really tight squeezing, head in a good position. And five more push-ups. One, very nice. Two, keeping tight. Three, make sure your knees stay tight. Four, squeezing your bottom. Five, good job. Walk your feet back in and relax. Now this is the last set. This is gonna be your hardest set. Try to do all five. If you cannot, three or four is fine. Ready, walk back out. Squeezing, really thinking about holding on, being tight, and making all five of these push-ups. Ready, one, very good, two, three, tight, four, good job, five. Walk your feet back in, squat, and hold. Now we're gonna sit down in pike position. This is the best view for everyone to see, and we really wanna show that our knees are straight, toes are pointed. Malia's gonna lay down on your back and we're gonna practice our flex points. Malia's gonna bring her legs straight up, keeping her bottom all the way on the ground. Her tummy is nice and tight and these knees are completely straight. We're gonna do 10 flex points. So Malia's gonna flex her feet and point one. Good, flex and point two, very nice. Flex, point three, flex, point four. Good job, flex, knees straight, five, good. Flex, six, flex, seven, eight, good job, nine, and last one, 10. Very nice, Malia. And Malia's gonna let her feet come down and rest for one second. When you do your flex points, it is different exercises, not just your toes. We're working on keeping these knees completely straight and using your tummy muscles to keep your legs up in a pike position. So really think about stretching those muscles and making sure that you're using all your muscles at all times. Now we're gonna go directly into our hollow body hold. Remember, hollow body hold is bringing that head off the ground and feet off of the ground. Hands can be on your thighs and we are just holding this position. The lower part of the back is what we want to be off the ground. Relax for one second, Malia. We're gonna do three of those holding for 10 seconds each. Here we go, ready? And hold, one, really squeezing in here, two, three, four, nice straight knees, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, relax, good job. Now, hollow body hold is really working these muscles here, so make sure that while you are in this position, you keep your knees straight and you're really pulling from your stomach to hold your toes up and your head up. Here we go, one more, two more. Lean forward and hollow body, ready. One, two, good, three, keep those knees straight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and relax. Now this is our last one, we've added one more set from last time. This is gonna be the hardest one. Really try to squeeze and hold on and make sure that you are not bending these knees at all. Ready? One more time. Hollow body hold and one, two, three. Good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Sure. Now that we've finished our hollow body holds, we're going to go right into our arch ups. So, Malia, if you can sit up, and she's going to go into a squat position and walk her fingers forward and lay down on her stomach. If you have a friend or a helper or parent who can grab your ankles for you, this would really help. If not, you can stick them under the end of your couch or underneath your bed. Malia's gonna clasp her fingers behind her head 
And when you are putting your hands here, do not push down upon your neck. Keep your arms just resting there, not pushing down. Malia's going to do 10, uh, 10 arch-ups, and on the last one, you're going to hold it for 5 seconds. Ready, Malia? Here we go. Arch-up. 1, 2, good. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, nice job. 8, 9, and 10. Hold. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And relax. You may notice that these arch ups are a lot more difficult than the ones that you've done in the past. The hold at the end probably feels very painful, but the longer you hold, the better that you are creating your muscles to get used to this hard work. So let's go ahead and do another set just like that. Ready? Here we go, Malia. One, good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, Malia. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and do our sit-ups. So Malia's going to roll over onto her back and bend her knees, and we're going to do them just like we've done in the past. You're going to cross your hands over your chest. This time, instead of ten, we're going to do fifteen. Here we go, Malia. Ready? One, Good. Keeping that back straight, two. Chin forward, three. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're almost there. Eleven, twelve. Good. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And lay down and relax. Now, while you relax and wait for your next set of sit-ups, Make sure that you always keep your chin forward. Do not put your chin down in your chest. You want to have a nice and neutral head position whenever you do sit-ups. All right, Malia, one more set. Ready? One, two, three. Good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, good job, 12, 13, 14, and 15, good. Once you're finished, you may sit for a second and catch your breath. Next, we're going to go right on to our V-ups. Malia's going to lay down, legs go straight, and last time we did 10 V-ups. As we increase our progression and as we get stronger, we're going to add more every time. Keeping your knees really straight, feet together, arms straight. Let's just show one first. Remember, we're going to come all the way up, touch those toes, and down. Really thinking about knees straight, arms straight, and squeezing these muscles right in here. Ready? Here we go. 15. 1, 2, good, 3, 4, 5, 6, very nice, 7, 8, Straight knee, 12, 13, you're almost there, 14, and 15, and sit up and relax. Good. She's going to take a small little break before we move on to our next exercise. Malia's going to squat and stand up next, and we're going to work on those squats that we've been doing in our beginner levels too. Malia's going to turn this way to give you a good view of what we're going to do. Malia's going to stand straight, keeping those knees straight, feet always facing forward. Your feet should only be shoulder length apart, no more. Malia's going to slowly, with her arms out the side, when she bends, brings her arms in front. Ready? Small bend, and down. Good. Now, before we do 10 in a row, I just want to make sure that you remember not to bend your knees way in front of you. They should not go in front. They should stay right over your heels, okay? And keeping this tummy nice and tight. Pretend you're just sitting down in a chair. Ready? Here we go. One. Good. Two. Three. Good job, Malia. Four. Keep going. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very nice. 
And now from here, we're going to do toe raises. This is something new that we're doing today. Put your feet together, and you're going to stand up nice and straight. We're going to put our arms up in a high crown. Good. Very nice. Ribs are nice and tight, bottom is squeezed. This is just like going on your tippy toes, but we're going to do 10 in a row. Molly is going to push up on her toes, keeping her knees straight, and down. Let's do 10 all together. Here we go. One, two, good, three, four, really squeezing, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice. Good job. Arms down. And now we're going to turn and face front. Now that we've got our legs all warmed up, we're going to go ahead and work on those straight jumps and straddle jumps we've done in the previous lessons. So the first thing that we always remember about gymnastics is how to use our arms in a jump. Malia's going to bend her knees and pull her arms behind her. Now, from there, we're going to do a big stretch jump. So straight jump, stick landing, hands are in front. Bend those knees, very nice, and a big salute. Beautiful. Let's try three just like that. Hands go back, bend your knees, swing to straight jump, stick landing, and salute. Very nice, two more. Hands go behind, and stretch jump, stick landing, and salute. And now our last one, make it your best jump. Try to jump as high as you can, squeezing every muscle in your body. Ready, straight jump, stick landing, and salute. Very nice. Now we're gonna work on our straddle jumps. Hands are gonna go behind. Same thing, don't try to make the biggest straddle you can make in the world. Just try to do a straddle where you can comfortably straighten your legs, point, point your toes, and land safely in a stick landing. Ready, hands go behind, and straddle jump, stick landing, and salute. Good, let's do three just like that. Hands go behind, and straddle jump, stick landing, and salute. Two more, one, hands go behind, straddle jump, stick landing, and salute. Now this is your last one, ready, hands go behind, Straddle jump, stick landing, and salute. Very nice. Congratulations, you just finished the Intermediate Conditioning Lesson 3. We hope that you had a good workout with us here today. Make sure that you do this lesson multiple times so you'll be ready to go to the Advanced Conditioning Lesson 1. See you next time, thank you. Gym on, gym on. <laughs> Gym on, gym, gym, let's go! Gym on is a place I wanna go. Get strong and fit, ready to roll. Gym on is where I wanna be. Get flexible with my family. Gym on is what I wanna do. Stretch out and learn with you. Gym on, gym on, gym on, gym on. Let's go! When I say gym, you say on.